Welcome, Michael Roche. My name is Michael. I grew up a practicing Catholic. I'm not practicing anymore. I'm just good at it. <laughs> Last time I went to church, parishioners knelt at the altar to receive communion. For some reason, it's not cool to kneel before a priest anymore. <laughs> For communion, come on. Um, yeah, but my friends are always like, Michael, come back to the church. God loves you. He would never judge you. Really? Because when you die and go to heaven, it's literally called Judgment Day. <laughs> and that sounds like an exclusive nightclub. <laughs> Welcome to Judgment Day. It's hotter than hell, hell, hell. <laughs> St. Peter is the bouncer. Look, I'm not passing judgment. I'm just making observations because there's only one supreme being who can pass judgment over all people. And that is Kanye West. <laughs> Speaking of Kanye, I have a wiener joke. I'm just not sure where to insert it. <laughs> Do you know this past summer, Budweiser beer renamed itself America? It's strange when beer has an easier time being labeled as American than an actual American. Just ask Obama. Ooh, ooh. Not the priest joke, but Obama. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so I'm a teacher. I've been teaching over 17 years, and I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you the three big reasons for becoming a teacher. June, July, and August. <laughs> but did you know a teacher was arrested on the first day for showing up drunk and not wearing pants to work? Do you wear pants to work? Yeah, I hope you said yes. Because unless you're a news anchor or a cartoon character, you might not want to be Donald ducking it to the office. I can assure you, I always come in my pants. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, does anybody else get suspicious when they see brownies in your office? Like, are these gluten free? <laughs> Sometimes my wife will ask me to go food shopping, and I'm like, huge mistake. I like to buy things like soda, potato chips, frozen pizza, chicken wings, ice cream, cake, mac and cheese covered with noodles, or as, as, as Chris Christie calls it, breakfast. It's not that funny. <laughs> You're right. So I am the father of four, which means I have mastered the art of lying. If I could any better at lying, I could be president-elect of the United States of America. I'm always telling my kids white lies like, Caucasians have great rhythm. Size doesn't matter. NASCAR's a sport. And when I'm holding my baby in my baby bureau on a chest level and a woman starts talking to me, I have to remind her, hey, my eyes are up here. I took my kids to the doctors and we're in the waiting room and there's this little girl, four or five years old, and she's sniffling a lot. I thought, oh great, cocaine addict. <laughs> the doctors are so quick to prescribe medication to kids nowadays. It helps with their ADD. You know what they called ADD when I was a kid? Childhood. That's why kids are so screwed up because parents are buying drugs for their kids. They haven't earned their drugs. They're not running from the cops and hiding from parents like back in the day. Everything's right there in the medicine cabinet. It's like a Rite Aid. So, finally, I was watching my son play basketball with his friends. No passing, no dribbling, no defense. I thought it was the real NBA. <laughs> Only less whining and flopping. I mean, have you seen NBA flopping in slow motion? Yeah. I thought it was a Kennedy assassination. <laughs> Thank you very much.